Hi all, I'm Jean. I'm going to be showing you another option to make butter today. So this is a really great easy way to make some fresh homemade butter. Um, I do it quite often for my family. We really enjoy uh, butter in my household. Uh, you can spread it on crackers, put it on bread, pretty much anything you'd normally use butter for. Um, this is a really great option. So to start with, you're going to need a plain mason jar um, or really any kind of jar that can be secured tightly uh, as well as just some heavy whipping cream. So I have already taken and put a quarter cup heavy whipping cream into my mason jar and I'm just going to use the standard lid that comes with the mason jar. So a little trick I've also learned from doing this, if you want to make the butter more quickly, you want to let it sit out for at least a half an hour, um, but it can sit out for up to like, I don't know, even an hour. And uh, the warmer it is, the faster the butter will make. If you do just take it out of the fridge, it'll still make a great butter. It just takes a little bit longer. It can take up to a half hour. So with warmer butter, it takes a shorter amount of time. So now that I've got it in there, got the lid on tightly, all you have to do is start shaking. So this process can take a little bit of time. Right now, you can maybe hear the sloshing around that the butter does, get a little double hand action in there, one hand twisting. The other great thing about making the butter is how easy it is for young kids to do it. Do you want to try shaking some butter? Can you shake the butter? Shake the butter. It's even two-year-old tested and approved. Shake, shake, shake. Wow, you're doing a great job. All right. Thank you for helping. Just like that, give it 10 minutes or so and you'll get some fresh homemade butter. Some things to note about doing it this yeah. option in this way is that when you're shaking the butter, you'll get to a point where it feels like nothing is happening inside. So you start with the sloshing that happens. It's really starting to get everything to break up within the butter. Um, when you reach the point where it feels like nothing's happening, that's great. At that point you have um, whipped cream if you were to have sweeteners in there, vanilla, sugar. Um, but the way that it is, it's not too great having nothing in there. But it's more of a heavy whipping cream or a whipped cream at that point. You just keep shaking past the point where it feels like nothing's going to happen and things are going to start to break up. So we'll come back at that point. All right, I'm back here, and as you can see, there's starting to be some things happening on the inside. So I got to the point where nothing was moving, and it was completely just solid looking in the jar. But now, jar? as we get closer jar? to the end here, you can see some blank spots. So we're starting to separate the butter from the buttermilk here. When this gets done, there's a nice kind of little ball of butter left. And then if you want to keep it, you can get about, oh, about that much of buttermilk that can be used for other recipes if you so choose. Um, I've heard of families using the buttermilk to make biscuits. Never tried that myself. If you have a great recipe, you'll have to share it with us. Okay, and it's hard to hear, can't really hear much happening right now. So soon we're going to get to the point that the butter is going to start separating from the buttermilk more. We're going to hear that ball start to whap against the sides of the jar. Okay, you'll have to excuse the sound. My helper is in the kitchen. So, 
All right, can you hear that? We can see now some real separation, the butter on the bottom there and the buttermilk along the sides. So now is a really important time in here to keep shaking to help form that ball of butter and really make sure that we solidify the solidify the butter and separate out that buttermilk. All right, so you can probably hear. We really have that distinction now. You really can see the butter formed in there. So just gonna give it a few more good shakes. It's really key to listen for that difference when you can hear the solid, um, that solid butter hitting the sides in the top of the jar. So that's why I like to do it with the mason jar, with the metal lid. You can hear it a little bit better. Um, but again, you can do this with anything that has um, a lid that closes tightly. All right. I'll open this up here. If you can see inside. <laughs> Spill out all of the buttermilk. Let's see if we can take a look inside. You can see the separation of the buttermilk and the butter. So, we just turn here slightly. All I'm going to do, again, if you want to keep the buttermilk, um, I'll just pour it into my other jar here. Okay, and then you just rinse it in some cool water. And there you have a nice little butter ball. Thanks for watching.